How's it going guys, it's Marcus, and today I'm going to be discussing the powers of our favorite little Claude, Peridot, and the potential of her powers. So Peridot went through her life as a gem, believing because she was an Era 2 Peridot, she didn't have any powers and she needed to rely on these limb enhancers in order to defend herself, as well as get other jobs done. Not to mention she was a die-hard homeworld gem, and that's what makes me love her character so much. Not only is she funny and smart, but her personality has developed and changed more than any other character in the entire series in my opinion. Like, she took a damn near 180 with her personality. She loves Earth so much now. Earth is where she discovered that she has these metal powers. Her metal powers are very interesting because if you couldn't tell, she's definitely been getting stronger with this power. At first, she was only able to control small objects like the iPad-like device and some instruments, but now she can lift up entire vehicles like cars with people inside of them. Now, I don't believe her being able to lift up cars is the full extent of this power. I see Peridot's power as somewhat of a parallel to Lapis's power, since both powers involve control over a state of matter, metal-esque objects being a solid and water being a liquid. I'm assuming Lapis came out of her hole knowing she had Hydrokinesis, so she had full control over her powers from the start, but let's take a look at what Lapis can do with her powers. She can morph bodies of water into forearms with a fist that can touch and hurt other things as if water was a solid. Plus, she can create clones of specific people or gems, like when she made clones of Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl to have those clones fight Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl when she was trying to take the Earth's ocean. <laughs> and to continue with that, she was able to lift the entire Earth's ocean out of the planet by herself. So if Peridot and Lapis's powers really are parallels of each other, just imagine what Peridot could do when her powers are fully mastered. She could lift entire buildings into the air, maybe even entire cities. Or use multiple pieces of scrap metal to create clones of quartz gems if there was a battle between her and some homeworld gems when homeworld, if homeworld eventually comes to Earth. I know she can already build things by hand, but if she uses her power to do so, she won't really need to use a lot of brain power to do so because they'll just kind of magically come to life. Imagine Peridot forming a giant fist with scrap metal and taking out hundreds of homeworld soldiers at once. Just, just how cool would that be? Yes! Feel my unbridled rage! <laughs> At the end of the day, this is just a theory. Her powers could be fully developed already, but I'd really like to see Peridot become more of a threat when it comes to fights. Like, the last time Peridot did something noteworthy in a fight was when she laid the finishing blow to Jasper, but she didn't really do that much fighting in that. Like, Smoky Quartz did the majority of the work, and then uh, Peridot just landed the finishing blow. You know, as of right now, physically, she might be considered, like, the weakest gem. Maybe next to Steven, but that's not, nah, that's not true. She's probably, she might be considered the weakest, uh, gem by herself out of everybody in, like, the, the crystal gem squad right now. And if these powers get fully maxed, she's gonna be as strong, maybe even stronger than Lapis, which would be insane. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.